it been months? How's it been? Weeks. Been weeks. It's been weeks. Um, so yeah, we had COVID. Dun dun dun. And well, we're over it. Yay! And what do you do when you celebrate getting over COVID? You go to Austin's homemade ice cream, <laughs> of course. So we're back down at Austin's today for, um, I think tomorrow's their last day for the season, but they have a special um, menu again right now. And on that is an, I'm like looking at it and I don't have my glasses on, but apple cider ap sorbet. Apple cider sorbet. And chocolate cherry. Chocolate covered cherry. Chocolate chocolate covered cherry. And yeah. pumpkin pie. So, I love cider, and I am here to try that apple cider sorbet. I'm excited about that. Yep, I think I'm getting pumpkin pie. I'm getting chocolate peanut butter cup. So, we are gonna grab some ice cream, and we'll show it to you when we get it, and, um, and we can't share it with you because you're in the screen, but also, I will eat it for you. Well, also, we just had COVID, and you know, no, we are fine now. So. We're going to order and we will be back with you to show you what we get. Yep. Hey, you too. Really? Yeah. So, we finally we got our stuff. And I will tell you, having COVID, I lost a sense of smell and most of my sense of taste. I can taste sweet, I can kind of taste salty, but I can't taste flavor. I, mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but, so it's really hard to find something that I can, <laughs> that tastes good to me. I, I lost I, about 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I lost some weight, but I put some back on. No comment. Um. Please, somebody taste this because I can't give a good. Well, okay. Um, because I've had the pumpkin, which I'd like to taste again. Milkshake, good. Just this is the pumpkin roll like we had last time we were here. Even though it just says pumpkin pie up there. Mm. I can kind of get an apple cider taste, but very faint to me. Yeah, it's very faint. Oh, okay, so it's yeah. not just me. Yeah. It's good though. It is very good. Um, and I think I've said this before when we've come to Austin's a lot of their stuff is just really sweet or it was to me the first time I came here I haven't had that problem recently I just want to see because I can kind of gauge I've had this before you know what I mean apparently I'm not going to have it again um <laughs> again like the crispy mm -hmm. stuff in it mm -hmm. I can get the sugar out of that. I just don't have my taste back yet. Um, but that's okay. I'm still going to eat this and enjoy it. <laughs> because I know it's good. I can faintly get the taste of it. Um, I have to eat, right? Now, we've been cooped up at home for a week or two, two weeks. weeks. It was two weeks. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you how on election night, November 3rd, is when I started feeling really bad. Me too. <laughs> For other reasons. Um, but anyway, not to get into politics. Um, I literally just started feeling really bad and went to bed. And for two days, I was like hardly able to do anything, move, anything. Um, definitely didn't eat. Um, so I kind of just laid there. <laughs> and when I did get up, I was dizzy and stuff. So... Then on Thursday, Greg came home from work feeling bad. And Friday morning, we both, I was starting to feel better. So we decided it was probably bronchial infections. We both get bronchitis and he gets pneumonia sometimes. Ain't so nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we headed off to Med Express and the doctor came out to see us and he agreed it was probably um, bronchial infections because, you know, we've had those, we know what they're like. And, but just to set other people's mind at ease, you know, we've had a couple COVID tests when we've been quarantined and stuff and decided to go ahead and do that because we really thought they'd come back negative. 
when in fact they did not. They came back positive because we did the rapid tests and got the answer back in 15 minutes mm -hmm. and headed home. Greg then became more ill as Friday went on. Um, and we I, and I had ups and downs, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, but overall, I was feeling much better than I had earlier in the week. He continued to go downhill and honestly, it took him a good bit longer to start feeling better. Yep. Um, he was even cleared, I think, from the health department before mm -hmm. he even started feeling better um, to go back out into public um, because he, he had quit having fevers. His fever would spike every night, but um, after like the 24, 48 hour period without any meds to keep it down, you're, you're pretty much cleared after those amount, a certain amount of days. So he was cleared, but... Um, still didn't feel very well and so it's been quite an experience mm -hmm. for us hunter i was tired for a bit uh that first day probably wednesday thursday and then i had drainage that was it for me which which made his throat sore yeah, yeah. but that was about it for him and he was a very good nurse i will say that mm -hmm. Thank you, Hunter, publicly here on Adventures with Swagger for don't, taking care of Mommy and Daddy. Don't, don't cut this out, Editor Dad. <laughs> um, and so we are out on the road for the first time. Actually, we're in a parking lot. Cut that out, Editor Dad. No, don't. <laughs> and so we are, of course, getting our Austins, and then we're going to head back toward Charleston. None of us feel like staying out for a whole day, <laughs> by any means. That's um, like this. It's rainy, but it's not. Uh, it's not cold. It's 50. Well, the the temperature is going down as the day goes along. Yeah. It was at 59. It is now at 54. It's misty. It's foggy, and I'll tell you, I tried to catch some fog, but I missed. <sighs> Cut that out, editor dad. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> anyway. So we're gonna head back toward Charleston. I think we're gonna stop at um, the Barbersville Mall. Huntington Mall. Huntington Mall in Barbersville. Wait a second. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, cut that out. Cause we're cut out where he said that, so cut that out. Okay, so we're gonna head back toward Charleston. <laughs> and we're probably gonna stop at the Huntington Mall. And uh, look around. I don't know if we're going to take you with us or not, but um, we are going to stop in there. If I get anything cool, I'll show you. Well, uh, you're not getting anything they cool. Won't. I can let you know that now. Oh, well, never mind. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to maybe see if they've decorated for Christmas yet. That would be cool. Um, although, let me just tell you, the official Adventures with Swagger, at least Mother, um, Stan point on that is that we did not decorate for Christmas until noon on Thanksgiving. Well, hold on. Your standard is that we wait till Santa comes during the Macy's Day Parade. Right. Which is noon But there's no Macy's Day Parade this year. So there, is. there is. There is? There is. You can't go stand on the side of the road and watch it, but they are doing something nice. virtual, something. I don't know. They're doing something. I'm excited either way. And then, then Christmas will begin for me. But not until then. So be sure to watch the decoration video. Yeah, we are going to decorate more than we have in the past because usually this time of year, we are really busy. Um, we have, I, I think I've told you in past videos, I do the children's choir at our church, which no choir because of COVID. And we were really disappointed because we thought no program, but we have found a way to do a virtual program. And we are excited for that. Um, we're gonna uh, bring in kids and families and we're gonna record them doing different things. We have an interview question period with some little ones. It should be really neat. Mm -hmm. And then my editor is going to put that together and we're gonna show that at church and uh, on Facebook and YouTube and we'll probably put it up on our page too because mm -hmm. I, I know it's gonna be great. So anyway, for now, I'm gonna go finish my sorbet and we are gonna head down the road when Greg's done with his pumpkin pie ice cream and we will see you down the road somewhere
Hello, YouTube. <laughs> oh, Hunter. Leave that stuff in. Leave the leave the past stuff in. Editing dad. Cut this out. So, we um, left Austin, and we, um, as said, we enjoyed our desserts there. I'm still freaking mine. Your milkshake? Yeah. Okay. Um, so my apple cider sorbet, after it started getting um, a little softer and stuff, I could get the flavor more, which I really um, enjoyed. It was really good. Um, so that I'm glad we made the trip for that. And then we stopped by the Huntington Mall and I had a little massage in the massage chairs at you know there in the mall. And there were some pretty Christmas decorations there where Santa Which was. you'll see somewhere in this video. I don't know. <laughs> and um, Greg won me a Expressions scented Perfume. perfumed bunk cake uh, out of a claw machine while he was waiting for me to get my massage and Hunter to uh, go <laughs> into BAM. Yeah, I went in BAM. I like Legos, so I got this out of a blind bag. It's uh, the DC character Cheetah. Yeah, it's not so the one I was looking for. We weren't there long, just enough to walk down one only one side. It was yeah, pretty it packed. Was, yeah, they were um, even running the train. Yeah, they were running the train. Santa was there getting his picture with kids. He had plexiglass. I oh, saw did that. he? Yeah. I didn't pay when attention. When you were walking in from where we walked in from the cafeteria mm -hmm. or the food court. There was plexiglass in between the, the gate uh, and Santa. Oh, okay. So, socially distanced pictures with Santa. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we did that real quick. And then we left there and have headed back home. Um, we, yes, Hunter. For any of you who like salad bars, <laughs> Ruby Tuesdays opened and they've got their salad bar back. We recommend it. The garden bar, uh, there was a sign that said the garden bar at Ruby Tuesdays there in uh, the Huntington Mall was open. That was exciting. I would have liked to have had a garden bar. We won't go into that now, will we? You really don't want to. This video will be way past however long. <laughs> um, Seven mid roll ads, I'm telling you. Let's just say that we didn't all agree on taking time to eat at the garden bar at Ruby Tuesdays today. No, I'll tell you this, everyone in that mall they all had a mask on. They were all wearing masks. I didn't see anybody without a mask. And um, some of the, the stores were counting people, how many could go in at one time. Um, some, had, some had people outside, out front counting. Some mm -hmm. just had like signs with a limit number. Yeah. So, but it, it's still the hallways were full. Um, I didn't feel uncomfortable. I didn't feel like I was in anybody's personal space at any point. But Greg, I mean, Greg is very, now that he has had COVID, um, he is all pro mask, which we have always followed mask guidelines. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it was very rough on him and he, he's like, um, you know, we are, we notice things more even than we did before. I think we see it, we see it, um, because we lived it. Yeah. And so we are now actually sitting in the car in Canal City waiting on Greg. He has run in to get our to-go meals from Aladdin restaurant in Canal City. By ours, I mean Greg and I, we are both having Aladdin restaurant. They didn't even offer it to me. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> he has leftovers at home from another trip. Had we? their leftovers. Uh, that's true. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to grab our dinner and head home. So I think we'll just leave this video right here. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, please, uh, if you enjoyed. And subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when our videos come up. Because our videos are back. Yes. We, we're going to try to stay on track through the season. Well, what are we thinking for our next video? Um, well, I know in a week or so, we will be showing you a lot of Christmas lights and um, Christmas fest. Well, there's not a lot of festivities going on, honestly, but Christmas lights and maybe some Christmas treats that the bakeries have, um, like we did in our fall treats. I think that was actually our last video. Oh, it may have been. <laughs> I don't know how long. But um, our next video, well, I don't know if it'll be the next video coming out. I'm not real sure. But 
I know we are going to film um, at the Christmas Cave um, over in Minford, Kentucky. They have a White Rock Cave. I said Kentucky, it's Ohio. Oh, it is. It is Ohio. I am so sorry about and that. And we're the professionals. Minford, Ohio. Um, anyway, we are headed over to the Christmas Cave right after Thanksgiving and want to take you along. Yep. So, for now, uh, be sure to hit that bell icon again, subscribe, leave a comment. YouTube loves comments and we do too. That's right. So we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.